there's a caveat with that idea, right? Berlanga came in unofficially at 193 pounds hey. against Saul Canelo Alvarez. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he, 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 hey, he was packing on some pounds. You know what I'm saying? Eating the biscuits. The biscuits. Hey. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm supposed to. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. We have Edgar Belanga. Some news coming off of his impressive performance, even in a loss against the legend Cinnamon. You know what I'm saying? So old Canelo Alvarez, they had a good fight. You know, a lot of people were expecting Edgar Belanga to get put out of there quickly. You know, or I, I, I personally thought it was going to be a stoppage by maybe the seventh round. But, you know, Berlanga got dropped in the third, in the third round. And he and he bounced back and he showed some uh, some fortitude, man. He saw, he showed some um, some cojones, if you will. No, did he? He definitely demonstrated the fact that he could, he could push through adversity a bit. Like I said, even though he fell short, I think that the general consensus around the boxing landscape is that he impressed man because people didn't expect him to, to to shine that well you know that's, that's especially go look distance in in some competitive moments you know some moments in the fight that were pretty competitive um in in that fight at all man so i think that he had definitely uh proved his his medal and and showed some boxing merit in his first step up fight you know his first time fighting somebody that was a high caliber uh a great fighter you know what i'm saying even the, uh <laughs> even even the first undisputed super middleweight in the world you know what i'm saying and, and, and cinnamon so i think he definitely impressed and i think that he has some big plans in the future and speaking of those big plans you know edgar belanga has kind of drawn out a possibility of who his next fight could be you know but before we get to that let's talk about what eddie hearn said eddie hearn said man he wants to have a tune-up for edgar belong to get him back to some winning ways you know what i'm saying after suffering his first defeat and he said May maybe he might put that tune-up in new york you know what i'm saying or in puerto rico you know he calls himself a, a new yorican so he might go back to puerto rico and i think that'd be dope you know to have a fight in puerto rico and, and kind of build his fan base up but, but edgar belong say, hey man i got other plans man he said, I'm looking for a Canelo rematch. And the best way for him to get there, in his in his, in his mind, is to go after the IBF title, man. The IBF title who who um who was just the IBF title that Canelo just vacated in order to fight Berlanga, you know, because the IBF mandatory was William Skull, and nobody was interested in seeing that fight, right? Like, who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? You know, so now William Skull is fighting Vladimir Shishkin for the IBF title, and Berlanga said he wants that fight next. You know, so if he could be, if he can beat them, which I think he's capable of beating William Skull or Vladimir Shishkin, um, it's, 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 hey, no, no, no way, shape, or form is it an easy fight. I'm just saying I think he could, he could beat them, and then he'll have the IBF title. But, but. <laughs> there's a caveat with that idea right berlanga came in unofficially at 193 pounds hey. against saul canelo alvarez you know what i'm saying hey he, 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 he hey he was packing on some pounds you know what i'm saying eating the biscuits the biscuits hey. so um with that being said you know 193 pounds that's heavy but it was it was cool because there was no rehydration clause so he didn't he didn't he didn't violate any any rules or terms of the agreement but those of you that are unfamiliar with the ibf title that sanction and body they put a rehydration limit on their titles of 10 pounds so if you fight if he fights at 168 he can't come in more than 178 you know, and that's 15 pounds less than what he came in against Cinnamon. That, that just, is that impossible for him to for, for him to make? No, he probably came in. He could have came in strategically at that that high of a weight to have a significant size advantage on Canelo. But let's say that he can't help but come in that or to, he can't help but blow up that much. Then um, that's going to be tough because the IBF it's a 10 pound weight limit, not the night of the fight, but the morning of the fight. So you have your you have your traditional weigh in the night before the fight, and then the morning 
of the fight you have another way in which you cannot weigh in excess of 10 pounds more than the um than, than the than the fight limit in which you're fighting at so this case will be 168 he can't weigh more than 178 pounds more into the fight so that significantly decreases your window of rehydration and blowing up to let's say 193 pounds so i'm not sure if he considered that or maybe he's like hey man like i said it was just a st strategic move to come in heavy against canelo because we know we want to impose our size and physicality to try to win that fight um so it, 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 it's just something to consider and to look out for um i'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt as a boxer that, and say that he knows that and i think he could have that fight and i and I think that that's a pretty good uh, path back to Canelo rematch if that's what he wants. And then if he does win the IBF title, guess what that rematch would be for? Assuming that uh, Canelo holds on to his belts, the WBA, WBC, and WBO. That would mean that that would be a fight for undisputed. The rematch with Canelo could potentially be undisputed. So that would make the stakes even higher, man. So I'll be excited for that fight. I think that's a that's a logical path and a realistic path for Berlanga to get back on top. Now, what Eddie Hearn has also suggested, you know, he wants to pair Edgar Berlanga with another young bull that he has on matchroom at 168 pounds. That's Diego Pacheco, who he just seen uh, beat Sulecki and be the first person to ever stop Sulecki, the old wily veteran. And he did that in an impressive fashion. And Pacheco, you know, I'm pretty sure he'd be game because he said he's willing to fight Berlanga. And he wants Berlanga win or lose. You know who else he wants? Canelo. And guess what? Coincidentally, he is the number one ranked fighter for the WBO. So he could be you know, in, in the foreseeable future, in the imminent future, he could be trying to exercise his right to get a shot at old cinnamon, you know what I'm saying, the face of boxer right now. So if he come closer, I'm, I, I, I fuck him. So that could put a little wrench between the Diego Pacheco and Berlanga plans of Eddie Hearn. But, you know, when you earn with Hearn, you're going to learn. And, and he might have to get that fight in before instead of going the IBF route if that's what Eddie Hearn really wants. And, you know, I'm sure they'll have their talks. But I'm definitely interested in, in Diego Pacheco and Berlanga. I think that's a great fight. Uh, even though Berlanga looked good, um, I would still lean towards Pacheco slightly. Um, but, yeah, they both, uh, Selecki being um, Pacheco's best win on his resume so far. And then and then Berlanga, even though he lost, he impressed against the best fighter in that division. You know, so it's, it's kind of a 50-50 fight, man. But me, I think right now I would lean towards Pacheco. However, however, we're not sure if that's going to happen because Berlanga could get what he wants and go for that IBF title as well. You know, uh, or, or go fight the winner of Shishkin and... Um, and William Skull. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Do do you think that he should go the IBF route? Do you, Would you like to see him fight uh, Pacheco next? Or do you even want to see Berlanga versus uh, Canelo? Like, it, it was close, but it wasn't that close, Doc. You tripping. Uh, I probably, um, I would say I would prefer him to try to fight Pacheco. I like that fight. But if he wants to go for the IBF title too, I wouldn't knock it, man, because that would put some high stakes on the rematch. But I'm not really too interested in the rematch between Berlanga and Cinnamon right now. I think that he should get a fight or two before going back for that rematch if it's even possible to get that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, I appreciate y'all rocking with me as always. Just want to give you a quick update on Edgar Belonga. Don't forget to like the video. But most importantly, remember, with God, we can do anything without God or nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.